All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here. We're gonna do another adventure here in Fable Anniversary. This time I'm gonna go on the evil path. You know, that way then we can show I can showcase the evil path and we have some fun with it. Um, you're gonna notice in these in this series that the um, microphone is better. I learned how to set the microphone up and edit it and all that, so it sounds better. Yeah, and I'm very excited about it too. Um, I have to wear a headset though, because for some reason now it's catching the, um, the microphone's catching the, um, sound from the speakers. So to get around that, I'm just wearing a headset. So anyway, let's get down to it. Let's start a new character. I'm going to delete the old character because we're done with it now. So. We're gonna delete you, no longer need you. New game. Here we go. And here we go. Now remember, this is the evil path now. And I'm gonna be quiet during the cutscenes. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay. I've lost Rosie. I left her and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Okay. So we're not going to do the good deeds. Young tear away. Off to play with your friends. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I'm, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Good oh, way. yeah. Here, have this gold piece. My advice to you, don't get tied down to one woman. Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. <laughs> oh, yeah. What advice to give to a kid, you know? Okay, there's one of the bad deeds. We need to come down here for another There's bad deed. I'm going after him. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long.
My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. <gasps> Pretty much they tell you how to break the barrels. Yeah, smash him up! Right, got you, you little ruffian. I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Destruction of a person's vendables. Accessory to improper man and lady behavior. That sort of behavior is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. You get experience for doing this bad deed. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Yeah, but for some reason it counted as a good deed. I don't know why. Why did it count as a good deed? I don't know why. Huh. Weird. Stupid little idiot. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. This boy was being nasty to me, and now you're hitting me too. Me and Emily just wanted to play with Rosie. I don't know what I've done. Someone tell me what I've done. Just take Rosie if it means you'll leave me alone. <laughs> what do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. No, he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Why are you playing with baby toys and little girls? Nice work. Now I'll give you half his pocket money if you let me have her. <laughs> Thanks. You and I got a lot in common. Here, take his money as a reward for returning her to me. Now, Rosie... What game shall we play, huh? Teddy no legs? What about burning <laughs> fur? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Have you cleaned my mum's car for me yet? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's funny. But we may as well get the gold piece. I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? There. If you do the good deeds as well, you'll get the money. But, um, you know, fuck that. I don't need that. What? You again? I'm hearing of your mischief rather regularly. Shall we remind ourselves? Destruction of a person's vendables. vendables. 
violent conduct towards a person or persons without guard's permission. Giving of a teddy bear to a person likely to rip off its head. Accessory to improper man and lady behaviour. Do you realise the trouble you'd be in if you weren't such a little un? Now go and keep yourself out of trouble. Uh. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Okay. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! Bandits! Oh! It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. See, I love the paintings that they depict. That is so cool. They actually make you go through a burning bridge. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Hmm. 
Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. I love how he just stands there and watches. <laughs> and he's got that rat tail, like from... You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. He's got that rat tail like uh, Anakin Skywalker did at the end of Star Wars <laughs> Episode 1. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You want either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Okay. So here we go, we gotta go through this training bullshit again, but that's... okay. So cross the bridge. We'll get the cooking apples real quick. May as well. Get some free money. You <laughs> Excuse me. You finally prized yourself from your pillow, I see. Over here, lad. Yeah, we will in a second. Guild master. We need cooking apples. Come on. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. There, we killed that dummy. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. 
Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Okay, we're going to the guild woods. Here we go! Off to kill the beetles! And here they are! Big bad beetle borgs! Ugh. Ugh. Look at you all ganging up on me, boom. Where's the other one? There he is. And that took that down. All right. Now we got some experience. We're actually ahead on experience because of the experience we got in Oakvale for the bad deeds. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Yeah, sure, why not? We the don't need to do the other. The boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Well, we're not gonna race, Whisper. Fuck it. We're gonna actually steal from the room here. There we go. And we want to steal from this room. And down the stairs we go. Late again. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword. And let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. Oh. Is that the best? Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. I 
Catch you next time. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Alright, we'll do the archery. And we'll um, do the tests later. Are you ready for your archery? Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. Now, lock onto the target. Now, lock onto the target. Well done! You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points. But you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. All right. Way too late on that. There we got him. Way too early on that one. There we got him. There we got him. Oh, that's too early on that one. Plenty of power. Lovely. Good shooting. Excellent shooting, my lad. Do that in your skill test and I'll be most impressed. That's how you do that. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfalls.
Okay, so we'll go deal with this so we can get the katana. Right. This melee combat against Whisper counts. Right, let's get Whisper and you in the ring. Same rules as before. I have a special prize for you if you manage an A+. Plus. <laughs> All right, you can stop now. That was very impressive. Whisper should be ashamed. A plus. That grade means I can award you a new weapon. Damn right. There we go. We got that. Now we need to wait for the archer to come out here so we can get graded for archery. Archery grading! Any apprentices for archery grade? Now the guildmaster has asked me to grade everyone's archery skills. And if you get an A+, you'll receive a special prize. You've got one minute, starting when you fire your first shot. Aim small, miss small. You know? If I learned anything from the Patriot, that's what I learned. New high score! Wow, I ain't never seen any better than that. You've got an A plus. Nice. The guildmaster said if anyone shot brilliant, I could award them this. Even though it's worthless, Ooh, we'll take it anyway. Fancy shooting. Okay, now we'll go deal with Will. We'll go deal with Will, and then we'll get graded, and then we'll go to the woods. There's just the will left to learn. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. Okay. Good. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You will only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. That's how you do that. Of magic. Well done. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods if you wish to join her. Very well. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. Okay, so we'll wait for the uh, trainer to get here so we can get graded, and then we'll kill 
the, the sparrows. There's sparrows that you can kill for an apprentice. I never noticed the design on the bridge, on the side of the bridge. That's, that's cool. I never noticed that before. Huh. Okay, here comes the apprentice. Any apprentices need wheel training? You've got 30 seconds once you first cast lightning to hit as many targets as you can. There's a special prize for A-plus students, you know. Plus, the guildmaster said to award these items to anyone who excelled at the will test. All right. Cool. I still haven't seen anyone perform better than you. That's how you do that. Now we're going to go talk to the apprentice that wants to get rid of some sparrows. And I can't remember where they're all at, but I do know there's like three here, four over here and... I need someone to kill the sparrows nesting around the guild. Disgusting vermin. Those damn sparrows are making a right mess of the guild. Just look at them. I'll pay you five gold for every one you kill. Just come and see me every time you kill another one. Is it on the other bridge that you gotta stand? There he is. Alright. Now this is tough to do. There we got him. Oh, you get experience for this. I didn't know that. You get experience for it. Killed any of the blighters yet? There's one there. There's one here. Boom. Then there's like three over here, I think. I remember right. Yeah, there's one here. There we got it. What, is it not going to give me the experience? Nope, it sure isn't. Isn't there one over here? No. Is it over here? Yeah, I see one. It's right here.
There we got him. Yeah, come on, give me the experience, damn it. There we go. I did it in 50 seconds. No one. Yeah, well, if that. it wasn't for my injured leg, I'd beat that time. No chance. I'm the fastest guild apprentice by miles. And then I believe there's some across over here. If I remember right, there's one over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Boom. I believe there's another one. Turned on me is what he did. Maybe that's all of them. Killed any of the blight is good. More of them. There is still more out there. Oh, there's still more? Okay. There he is. Right in front of me. Yeah, I don't think I'm in a good spot. I need to get in a better spot. There, we got him. Alright. Let's try that. That should be all of them. Have you killed any more? Ah, uh, you got enough. There is still more out there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's more? Where? No. Yeah, I don't even know where all the sparrows are. It's been a long time since I've done this, so... I think that's the last one. All right, cool. There's where it was. Here's a little bonus. All right, cool. All right. Move. What? You're the most arrogant. That We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that. Right then. Get to the demon door and back and talk to me in 50 seconds. This is easy to do. I'm the fastest! Do not follow the path. Cut through. The rocks used to trip me up. I haven't seen anyone perform better than you. Which that just did, that just happened, so. I don't know, we might not make this one. No, you're not. That's amazing. Got it. How did you do it? I lost my bet. I'm surprised I got that one. 
I'm surprised I got that one. Hell yeah. Hey, I want the money. That's why I was after it. That's exactly why I was after it. Okay, we're gonna go with Whisper to play in the woods. The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Wait. Did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. We need the skill points. That's why I'm doing this, so I can get the skill points for Guile. Boom, there we go. We did it! Did you see the look on their faces? Wait till the Guildmaster hears about this. Okay. Well, that's all we needed here in the Guild Woods. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the Guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the Guild Seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the Guild Woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Okay, here we go. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Attack me! Attack me! Very good. Now... Shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Okay. Excellent. And finally, cast lightning at me. Okay. That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. All right, cool. We got that passed. Now we can get out of here.
Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring, and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. It's time for you to leave us, lad. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light, and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, we're going here so we can get Guile. We'll get health as well. There we There's go. There's little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Okay. So this is going to be it for this video. Um, Check the guild for more quests. How this is going to work is I'm not going to record all the farming and uh, making gold. Um, you know, well... I shouldn't say making gold because there are some things you can do as the evil character to make gold and I will showcase them in these videos but the farming for experience the walking back and forth between towns I will cut out so there's no need to worry about that so anyway hope you all had fun I hope you all enjoy this new setup with the audio and I will see you all in the next video bye bye